Hello, my beautiful Aries dragons. Okay, so here's the deal. My phone ran out of space, but sometimes I'm like, I ask and it's like, can I do another reading? And it's like, yeah, go ahead. This one I feel needs to be heard. So, and I know if I shuffle again and deal, chances are that you'll get it, but there's some sort of specific message. Now, all I had gotten through was um, these ones up here. So I'm going to start again. Okay, so first of all, welcome to Fire Dragon Tarot. Second of all, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe. I need to be able to get away to you because if you want me to, I'm giving away this deck. Okay, it's the Tarot of Dreams. Love the deck. I have a new one though, a new shiny one that I'm bringing into my existence. And this one I'm going to be sending out to one of you viewers. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So what has come out across the top is higher power, loyal heart and observer. And I was commenting on because when I shuffled and they came out and usually I don't take reversals or anything when the cards come out in the Oracle decks, but loyal heart came out in reverse. And I think that you're just really being led to go inside and to withdraw a little bit to figure out what exactly this is, right? If it's something that happened, which I know there's been something that happened for some of you in the past. You guys have commented on some of the videos in the past um, that you've been going through something and that this is something that's definitely in your energy. Um, but there's something that you've had to go back and almost like reevaluate. And then the moon cards came out. I wish that I really wish that my video wouldn't have stopped. Um, so we have surrendered to the divine. The answers you need are coming and your dreams need a practical plan. Look at this. Surrender to the divine came out underneath higher power. Okay. Loyal heart came. The answers you need are coming. An observer came. Your dreams need a practical plan. And it was saying about how it's about going out and, um, and, and being around, this was something that I was heavily guided to say to you, was that you need to go out and maybe be around new people, hang around with new people. Not to not keep the old ones, but also in your friend group, you need to make sure that you're always expanding and experiencing too, because you bring that back into your groups. So you need to make sure that you're not just staying with your group, but how are you ever going to go out and discover, right? Um, your dreams need a practical plan. It's almost like you're sitting there um, and hoping for something, but there's there the energy isn't right for that to come in, okay? So, but you do need to surrender, okay? You do need to sort of go, okay. And I think I just hear it like you just need to be a little bit lighter, okay? You just need to sort of just be a little bit less intense, Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. So this is where we picked up from where we were from. So I feel like in the past, you might have not really been grounded. Okay, so it's it's you, you making a choice was very challenging for you. And you've, I think that when you decided, you decided to move on and let something go. But I think that that sort of... Um, led you to two of cups in reverse. This led you to sort of some sort of an imbalance in a relationship or a breakup. And I think that's why you're questioning yourself. You're really heavy, heavily questioning your heart and who you let in and why. And um, your faith, because when this came out originally, this came out over here, your faith has been shaken, not just in the universe, but also in yourself. And I think that you really need to surrender to the divine. You need to take a step back. Okay. You will be victorious. Okay. You have the four of wands here. Those are one of the most positive cards in the deck. Okay. You will be successful. Okay. But this is also, excuse me, about building solid foundations. Okay. This is about making deeper commitments and making forward steps. So, um, like you're gonna, you're gonna be good. Look at this. You're at the 10 of cups and the ace of coins. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you are going to have everything that you wish for. Okay. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You are going to be doing all of this. You just need to have faith. You need to find your faith again. I think you, and what I just heard is you need to sit back and say, that was not, um, 
you know, whatever happened here, um, yes, you sort of lost yourself. However, you've learned and it wasn't all just you. I think that you may be taking on too much responsibility for what happened. Lots of times we do that and we don't, um, because we're also told, oh, stop blaming other people. Well, no, no, sometimes um, it's healthy to realize the role that other people had as well. So you have to realize your role and you also have to realize what their role was. Yeah, because over here in the past with all of this, right? You have the star and it's in reverse. And so this is about um, sort of feeling hopeless and chaotic, right? And very disconnected. This is a lot of anxiety. So um, I think that you need time to repair from all of this. That's what this is. And this is where this comes in, right? Surrendering to the divine, right? And, and knowing that this is going to... Um, happen for you. Oh, that's a good card. I'm actually, I was told just to pull that last one out because I like that for you. Um, back way back here, we have the five of pentacles, like way over here. Good. It's in the camera. Um, and this is about trying to protect yourself. This is, um, you need to let go over of the fear of what happened in the past. Okay. It's almost like you've created too big of a boundary and instead of a boundary to a healthy boundary, you've created a huge boundary that is actually harmful to you, okay? Just make sure that you're healing. Look at this. As soon as you take the time to heal, you have the sun. This is the most positive card in the deck. Guys, this reading is 120% for you. Look at this. Over this victory card and the Ten of Cups is the Two of Cups. This could be you uniting with yourself and realizing that you don't need another person to create and to have this with. And usually when we get into that space, truly that space, not just saying to you, okay, universe, I really don't care. I'm happy on my own, but you're still going around looking at everybody. No, it's about you finding yourself and then you actually find your soulmate, okay, who you're supposed to be with, a mating soul, okay? So, and look at this, past this is strength. So this is about you taking your power back, okay? Back here, your boundaries are too high, okay? You're, you've put up too big of a shield. You need to look ahead more positively and you need to really pull in your control, right? You need to pull in where your strengths are, take your control back and not let this, affect you anymore. Now I know it's easier said than done, but really how you do that is by going out and meeting new people. Okay. Go out and allow yourself to forget this. Sometimes we try to heal, 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 heal. And we do all these meditations and all these sort of everything we can to get past this, but this is still in your energy. So what you need to do is go and distract yourself, right? Go find a useless game to play on your phone right? Go find people to hang out with or, you know, go to a movie, okay? Give your brain a break from this, okay? Good. So this is the Love Oracle deck. Now, I love this deck because it doesn't always have to be with um, love. It has a lot to do with self-love. So let's see what's come out in the past. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we have the snake and wedding rings and then, but then we have the Phoenix. Okay. So there was somebody who, um, who was not a kind person. Okay. Remember how I said, and wedding rings, like, I think that they, um, what I'm hearing with these two cards together is it kind of came in and love bombed you. Oh my gosh, you're everything I ever wanted. Da 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 da. And then boom, they were gone right? Like it was not good, but look at this. So this is a new phase, Phoenix. Okay. You are transforming, you are growing and you are growing your mind as well. Okay. This is good. Oh my God. It's abundance. You just, you need to see that this is in store for you. You need to get that and understand it and put it deeply into your subconscious. Even just go and find some positive affirmations, positive um, meditations, positive just frequencies 
Um, there's a ton of them on YouTube and go and find them and listen to them and encourage yourself. Say, you know what? This was not for me. This person can go and do that with the next person and the next person and the next person. That's their pattern. But you're not going to let this happen again because you have everything waiting for you. Okay, guys. So that is your reading. Yeah. Yeah. I've done all the cards. There's a lot of cards here. Aries, this is a fantastic reading. Okay. Please like and subscribe and I will see you um, hopefully in your bonus. Okay. Bonuses are in effect. This is your mid-September. So bonuses are in effect. So I'd love to do a bonus for you. Also, remember you have to do something so that I can get this deck to you if you want it. So thank you so much for your support and I will see you guys hopefully in your bonus.